night. It's fence day. So let's get a quick before shot. There's the fence. Fencing, actually. So we're going this way up the side of our property. I'm probably not going to be able to videotape while we're doing it, but you guys get the idea. There's Caesar. All in good time. All right, so there's your before shot. I'll try to take some video kind of in between. Um, I'm taking the spikes off of the poles right now. Those are the poles, but we got to take the spikes off, which are those, so we can drive the spikes down in the ground. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, we'll be back. Hey, everybody. Okay, we're back. It's been a long weekend. It's Sunday, so it took a little more than four hours. And that's mostly just because we didn't get enough fence. Um, and we didn't get it right on the property line. So we kind of had to redo a couple of things, but um, still all in all, it, it still took more than four hours today. But the end result is really nice. I'm sorry I didn't record it. Um, it was just blazing hot out here and there would have been a lot of cussing. So I'm gonna show you the after. You guys saw the before. And then I'll show you some of the things that we use that actually made it a lot easier to do. So hang on just one second. I'm gonna turn you guys around. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this because again, it's uh, very sunny and it's hard for me to see at my viewfinder, but um, we kind of came off the side of the house. There's the kitchen window and uh, you can see we used a paint line. We used string, but we had an incident with the dogs and uh, we think that's where things went awry was we had to retie the string and we think it got off. We ended up being about five inches over on the neighbor's yard so we had to move everything and we used the red line which worked really well and it actually went really quickly we'll come from this side you guys can see it a little bit but uh, it looks really good really happy with it it's actually fairly easy to do it's really just kind of getting it level but as you can kind of see it's not level because my yard goes on a slope so we had to make some drops in the gates where if you go all the way up here at the top, you can see how that kind of slopes up. You can see the big drop right there. And then we're pretty even all the way across until we get to about here and we make another large drop because we're starting to slope down now. We make another drop. We made a pretty significant drop right there. Yet another significant drop there. You can kind of see down on the bottom. It's following the line. So we kept it pretty close in most of the areas. And then what we did was because just the way this fence is and the measurements, we couldn't go straight and then just cut a 90 degree corner. So what we had to do was we angled it. This is called figure it out and fix it. Um, we just did an angle off the side of the property because it didn't matter where we went on the property. Caesar, uh, there was no way we were, we were going to get, you know, a straight line and then a straight line. There, it just wasn't going to happen. The measurements just weren't going to work out. So uh, we angled it and we have a nice little corner and it looks pretty good. Caesar, uh, he's not used to this. He is not used to being behind a fence uh, at all. And the gate looks really good. I'm really happy with it. <laughs> we literally just finished it a few minutes ago. So... Uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. So I'll turn you guys back around here in just a second. Okay, so you guys kind of um, kind of saw how that's in. It looks pretty in the background. Look. Isn't it pretty? There's Cliffy. Hey, Cliffy. Okay, so let me kind of show you how these things are um, put in. Oh, I got to turn you around again. Hang on. Okay, so these are the poles. And they have these big spike things on the end of them. And there's actually a screw in there. You take the spike off and the spike is what you drive in the ground because this is aluminum. And if you drive that in the ground, you're gonna break it. Uh, but that's meant to kind of go in the ground and, and hold it so you don't have to use any kind of cement and you don't really have to dig. These things were a little hard to get into the ground. I'm not gonna lie. So what we ended up using 
um, and look over my courtyard right now because we're still in the middle of trying to get everything cleaned up. So what we ended up using was a log splitter, believe it or not. Oh, he took it. He's already taken it back over to the neighbors. Anyway, it was a log splitter, um, and it was this big metal pole, and it had this big spike on the end of it, and we just, it's meant to, you use that instead of uh, hammering in on a wedge with your ax. You can use that, and it'll split the logs. Um, hang on. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna sit down for a second because I'm tired. I'm tired, y'all. We're over it, and I'm tired. Um, you can see we don't have the fall going yet because I still have to blow all the leaves. See all the leaves? All that has to be done. Uh, believe it or not, opening this thing up for the springtime is not always the easiest thing in the world um, to do. There's a lot of stuff. We gotta kill all the weeds, blow all the leaves. Fountain is just about ready to go. This won't be turned on until I get the leaves on. That's probably gonna be Tuesday, Wednesday project for me, I think. Um, but he took the wedge splitter back and it, it was it was just this big long metal pole um, that went up in another pole and it had this long wedge on it about yay big. And basically you just put the wedge in the ground and it slid over the pole and you would just hammer it like that and that's how it kind of kind of hammered it into the ground. Anyway, that was a game changer. So you need one of those because that made everything a whole lot easier. Um, log log splitter. Well, I already told him this. He's irritated with me. He's over it. He's like, we, my four hour job. Wow, uh, whole weekend. Another second weekend. I did all that last weekend. This weekend I did nothing on the car. We okay. worked on the car last weekend. We're gonna argue, anyway. So, uh, that being what it is, is we're done. Uh, we're finished, we've put all the stuff up. I've painted all the things, that fence is done. We'll be doing more of that fencing on the other side of the yard, not right now. Talk to Scott, he said he'll, he'll cut and... He can cut and weld for us? Okay. Uh, luckily, my neighbor, uh, which is Mr. Home Depot, we like to call him, he's also very handy dandy. Uh, he can weld aluminum, apparently. So, uh, we have a s sneaking suspicion that when we go to do the other side yard, Caesar, the panels are 40, 40, 54 inches long, right? Right? Long. Um, the math is probably not going to work out when you go from like wall to wall. We're going to end up having to cut a panel, we're pretty sure. So, our neighbor Scott will help us with that. Thank God we've got, we're blessed with wonderful neighbors. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. Um, again, I'm sorry I didn't show you the work in between, but trust me, it was just a lot of standing there, and I think it would have been a boring video. So, all right, you guys know the rules. Till I see you next time, stay safe, stay clean, and have a perfect day. Bye.